Okay. Um, hi, good morning. Thank you so much for letting me just share my testimony of what God has done and how he brought me here. Hi. It was uh, three weeks ago. I was just walking on a Sunday. I had shorts on and a tank top and I had just went to the dollar store and was excited to get my Sunday paper and I was going to come to the park to read. And I went over to the picnic tables there and I was kind of bummed and discouraged that they had a ribbon around them that said no sitting or this area closed. And then all of a sudden I looked over and I saw the flags and I heard worship. And I was just so excited. I was like, oh Lord, I can't believe this. I had no idea that any church was still meeting. And so I walked over on the hillside and one lady gave me a big hug and said, we've been praying for you. So glad you're here. And I just started worshiping the Lord. And I was so grateful. So right here in the duck pond in the middle of Temecula, just, it was so great to see so many people worshiping the Lord. And then last week, the preacher was talking about how we've got to get out in the community and pray for people. And I just felt the Holy Spirit, the unction, telling me to go, to go to the corner. And that was definitely not what I wanted to do because there was a lot of protesters out there, maybe angry. And I just walked into the crowd and my heart just broke. I just started crying. And I knew I had to get across the street. I felt like there was someone there. And I said, I hope, you know, I just kind of looked into the crowd and said, I hope you know how much Jesus loves you. And this one woman did not receive that. She kind of cursed at me. And then this young black man came up and walked me across the street. And then I shared the gospel with the young girl over there. And I feel like she heard it. And then I came back. And then this week I come and I'm walking across the street and I see it's about 30 or 40 minutes before church even starts and I see these two beautiful women standing out there with signs Jesus loves you and do you need prayer and the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and again the flags and I was just like oh thank you so I limped my way across the street because I have a little shin splint and a few problems with my foot here and one of the ladies said we need to pray for you because God is a healer and I said I believe that and so they laid hands on me and they prayed for my foot. And then Jazz asked, thank you so much. Thank you. Pentecostal hand Thank you. I received that. Thank you. Uh -huh. And then Jazz said, uh, would you like prayer? Uh -huh. Or how does the pain feel now on a level of 1 to 10? I said, well, it was 10, now it's a 7. So they prayed again. She said, how is it now? I said, it's about a 3, but it's just in my foot. And then Miriam, the other woman, had a word of knowledge from the Holy Spirit and said, it's in your hip. And they prayed for my hip and it was, I was immediately healed. And I just praise God for that, that there are believers still out on the street corners and in the parks sharing the word of God and sharing the love of Jesus. So thank you so much for being here and thank you for letting me share my story. I love you. Bye.